Today, we're building a carport for the kids. This way we can protect all their toys from all the weather. First, we had to get all of our pallets. If you didn't know, you can get free pallets from Lowe's and Home Depot out in the back. Next, I took all my pallets and I lined them up with my fence, so that way I could weatherproof them. Uh, this is by far the most uh, intensive part because I had to do the front and back and I had to make sure I painted it all, so that way it, uh, it is weatherproof for all the seasons. I had a big open spot in the side of my house that I felt that it would be the best spot. So I had to prep by taking out all these rocks and moving them aside so that way I can have the best uh, working area. My kids were so fascinated with what was going on. They just had to sit there and watch the entire time. So it's, uh, you know, sometimes they can get in the way. Once I got down to the, the tarp here, I was able to pull it all back and then found out that there were way more rocks, just bigger rocks underneath. You can't really tell from the video here because of the sun, but I had to go and level that out. Then I had to attach all the pallets and make sure that they were all together so that way it can be just one solid piece. I found these 12 inch metal brackets that I can put across that I did on both sides and I did in the middle too so that way we can try and make it as stable as possible. We drilled pilot holes first with the drill bit so that way we uh, didn't split the wood all around but I think we did a pretty good job of making sure that it will be stable. Now we put the sides and the back on to try and prepare for the top. Something looked off, so I had to measure all my pallets just to make sure that they were all the right size. And it turns out one of the pallets was like four inches too small. So I had a bunch of extra ones, so I made sure that uh, we had to fix that problem. So now we got the walls up. We have the two sides and we have the back wall. Uh, we used these L brackets all around to make sure everything was stable. Uh, Lowe's had a lot of things that were out of stock because of what's going on with COVID. But uh, we made do. We used some bigger and smaller ones in combination, but uh, everything seemed pretty secure. Now it's time to get the top on there. We used a three foot bar for the middle to uh, stabilize that, but uh, everything seemed to be pretty, uh, pretty stable from there. We had to make sure the top was really secure, so we put L brackets all the way across, all over the place, just to make sure that everything was nice and tight. And here's the finished product. So I had to get a second bar because we wanted to make sure everything didn't collapse on us. But uh, overall, I think it looked great. So we ended up putting bungee cords on the side to secure the tarp and uh, everything looked awesome. Uh, we also took a ratchet strap and we put it all the way across the front and, uh, and stapled everything on just to make sure to give it an extra stability to where wind doesn't uh, take it anywhere. Let me know what you think. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel because I have lots of things in my backyard that I'm going to be messing with and uh, you guys can see it all right here.